Come on. Okay, there, there. Oh, come on! It's happening again. The same fucking thing's happening. Why is this happening? Why are they inflicting such heavier losses on us? Okay. Fuck, people, let's just... Let's just try to get straight onto the battlefield. This is ridiculous! This is ridiculous. Why are they beating us? Is it because we've got crap... Soldiers, look, I know light infantry aren't that strong, but we outnumber them! We outnumber them so badly, they're not supposed to be able to win against this. Ugh... Oh, I hate this! Why is this happening? Okay, okay, okay. We're killing a lot more of them than they are of us. Yes! We won the battle! We took massive, horrible casualties! And luckily we were able to get all those pricks to leave the factions. With all the stuff we gave them. All the titles and... We won the battle! Ugh. I don't know how. By the end, the only thing that was off was the one being led by Ankod personally. We got some... looks like he's just a courtier. Can he be... is he ransomable? No, nobody cares. Nobody gives a shit about him. Oh god, that was... that was a horrible fight. He's now going to Vitebsk. Time for some strong ping-ponging. He'll be at low morale, so we could beat him again easily. Hopefully. Huh. Oh. I don't know how the damned Volhinians kept managing to kill us. It was... They appear to have regained... The four stack got there first and immediately died. Well... At least this time they've got... Less morale than us. And they've taken a massive beating. Let's see, Vicantis... No, no. No zealots, because we're going to be changing religions. We're reforming the religion. Remember? Our center is collapsing again! Ugh. But at least we're flanking their center. It's... making kind of a dumb move. They could have gone after the person, the flank that was flanking them. But instead, they focus their attack on the left and left themselves to get crushed. Just all around dumb moves. Anyways, this war is already pretty fucking horrible. And if the other eight go this badly, um, we're not reforming the, uh, the faith in eight episodes. Whoa, 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 whoa. You'll get there on the 22nd. We'll catch him on the 2nd. Reinforcements will arrive two days later. I don't know what you're planning. All right, I forgot about those guys. Well, honestly, they're doing me a favor by, uh... by leaving the island. Oh, well, will you look at that! 
Bori Voge died after a period of illness. On January 3rd of 733. Two days after his birthday. Well, good riddance. I don't get it, it's like our center is made out of paper. Awesome! Sea Prussians, I told you re resisting was futile. Now, uh, this time, let's see if we can settle tribe over here in Bryansk. God, it's so beautiful seeing the spread of Coronian. Ah, uh, isn't that beautiful, guys? Okay. Look, we've been ping-ponging you left and right. We've occupied... <sighs> well, I really should deal with this peasant uprising. Are there any troops I have left to, uh, to raise? Let's group everyone up in Semigalia. We're going to... We're gonna go and deal with these fucking peasants. Thinking they can take my fucking land. We could lose that siege. God, I can't believe we took such a pounding in that war. It's really uncharacteristic. Whoa, 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 whoa. They're moving to the capital now. We'll reach there on March. Well then, I guess let's have everybody group up in Latgal instead. Make sure none of them cross paths with the rebels. Hmm. Oh, I do like the idea of getting a hunting dog. Yes, get extra health and extra diplo. Who should we call him? I like the name Faithful. Yay! I love it. I love it. Who gave it to me? I don't remember. But I'll be able to look it up in, uh... in post, so... Yeah. Hmm. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's this? Why are, why are you going through Orsha? No, don't go anywhere near that 300 those 300 troops you're asking to be ki why would you go through Orsha in what universe does that make sense you're only one troop you're not even you're not even worth it go goodbye yep and now we wait for troops to uh, to fall in line 
because we're in great need of troops at the moment. Hmm. I wonder if maybe we could figure out which one of these troops which one of these armies comes from Semigalia then we could disband only that one I mean I just disband all my currently held troops and re-raise except that Kurzim is currently under siege so that's not a viable tactic. Tout Vila has deceitful. Honest. He'd lose intrigue, gain diplomacy. Mm, it is a bit of a tough call. I think I'm gonna see if I can. Mm, not sure I'm happy with that result. This is going to take forever. We're not really in that great a position to deal with these peasants. Not to mention we're currently at war. Okay, let's see if we can make it to Semigalia. That would be a, a much better staging ground. Oh, they're going to besiege Kurzim. No, they're not, because they've decided to leave Kurzim now. When do they arrive? On the 12th. We'll get there around April 30th. So, I just tricked them into giving up their siege. And now they can't even siege down the province. So that's, that's a very, very good result for me. And you, why are you going through Irunia? It seems like... I don't know. You know what, whatever. Now we're grouping up in Vilnius. You're heading to Latgal on May 17th. We'll be gone from Latgal on the 4th. I think we just wait there, let them come to us. If they want to take a river crossing, let them. And they're not giving up. Wouldn't be a bad idea to start reinforcing right now. May 17th. Yeah, if they want to take a river crossing, let them. Although they've actually got a lot of light cavalry. And a shit ton of archers. Actually might be a bit of a disastrous engagement. Okay, how's the battle going? Looks like... Peasants are losing. That's good, that's what I want. Well, we're going to lose the Siege of Orsha. Whatever, we, we still kicked them around enough that they're, they're not going to win. Yeah, look at that! No longer do we have a paper center. Yeah, keep killing them. Kill as many as you can. 
Polotsk. Ah, I was just thinking of going in that direction to, uh... ...to deal with the actual people. We wipe out the peasant army. Yeah, I kinda knew that was gonna happen. Wipe out the peasant's army, and we can end the war without having to siege back the, uh, the province they took. So, you're not escaping. I wouldn't even bother if I were you. Because you're not escaping. And somehow we took a crossing penalty? Um, well, shit. I forgot, I went and concubined all of my dead enemies' wives. So they're heading to Lepiel. Let's head to Lepiel and afterwards, Orsha. Move the rest of the army to Lepiel. And then afterwards to Orsha. We need to take back Orsha. Ha! <sighs> this, um, this has not gone as planned. We're still winning, but... You're not gonna be able to escape. Stop trying. My dog is growing quickly and is no longer a little puppy. He runs fast and has a keen nose, and your dog hand and your dog handlers praise his good character. Beautiful. Good faithful. Oh yeah, flat terrain expert. Always. Where are they heading to? They're heading to Minsk. Eh, you know what? I think I can afford to make that kind of a detour. They'll reach Minsk before me and engage Bryatchislav's army. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. This time, their center is collapsing. Take that, pricks. Take that. Okay, we've got a new prisoner. And he holds a title, so we'll actually be able to ransom him. Except he doesn't have enough money for the ransom. Well, damn. Let's, let's just do this. We'll, we'll get back more money than we invested. So, yeah, I, I would say that that is worth it. Mm-hmm. Well, 
You know, I'm I'm pretty sure that we're not gonna we're not gonna be finishing up this reformation in the next eight episodes. Um, and I've been doing this for a while. I should really probably call it for now. Anyways, I'm Lord Ravenwork, this has been great, and I will see you all later. Bye!